save. That was a cool transition right there. Welcome back to Music Mania. I'm your host Christina and today we're back at it with a brand new video. Okay guys, so today we're going to be reacting to a brand new, just debuted new K-pop group called NMIX. Now NMIX, they're from the company JYP Entertainment, which has some of the most famous K-pop groups I feel like, including TWICE, ITZY, and Stray Kids, among other groups. I don't know about you guys, but I found it a little bit odd that... JYP is just debuting another group only three years after ITZY debuted. I feel like they're still pretty brand new, so I feel like having two brand new like groups is just kind of odd in a way, but I guess if that's what they want to do. So NMIX is a seven-member girl group, and now I'm going to put up all of their pictures and their names coming up right over here. So I'm reacting to this video a couple days after it's been out. Now, from what I've seen around, I haven't heard the song at all, but from what I've seen around the internet, the reviews haven't been very good. Some people have even said that this is the worst song that they've heard, so I don't know. Now I need to see what this is like, because if it's the worst song you've ever heard, like it must be pretty bad, but I'm just going to keep my uh, my mind open. I'm not going to judge anything, but from, you know... Like I said, from what the internet is saying, it's pretty, pretty bad. Just jump into it, make sure to grab a snack, and I hope you guys enjoy with me. Alright guys, so I have the video loaded up here, so let's get into this and see what all the fuss is about. Hmm, very mysterious. Hmm. Ooh, look at this set though. Whoa, there's like a big ship. It looks like the girls are like somewhere in the center over here. They're fading in. That's pretty cool. Ooh. Very mysterious. Whoa. Look at this. What? Wait, hold on. Before we get into the song. Wait, look at this cinematography, though. What? This is insane. Like, look. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Wow. You know, th this this company has money. It's fine. It's fine. They know what they're doing. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Uh. I don't like the shouting. <laughs> uh. Yeah, let's. Hmm. I don't like the shouting in this. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm just just watch. Hmm. Okay, that's pretty cool. Huh. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I don't like the shouting in that part. But the choreography so far is pretty cool. Let's see how much more this goes into now. Is this a Coke Zero sponsorship or like a Coke sponsorship or something like that? Hmm, this part is pretty cool. I like this. Ooh, this is really nice. Okay, is it just me? But this really reminds me of, like, a Luna video. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Luna videos, but they're very, like, like, they look like a movie. I think, actually, I heard that the same production company or someone who does the same music videos for Luna also did this. I'm not sure if that's correct, though. I'm gonna check again. But if they did, then yeah, I can tell because this looks like a movie. Ooh, okay, wait, that shot was beautiful. Wait, let's go back. Wow, okay, and whoever she is, she's really pretty. I still have yet to learn their names fully, 
But wow, this looks awesome. What is this? Oh? What? <laughs> Did they get on the ground and start shaking? What was that? Oh, wait. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Whoa. Okay, she is over here busting through these walls like there's no tomorrow over here. Like, she's like the Hulk or something. Whoa. Look at that. Oh, and all of these... Whoa. Okay, this set? This is insane. Okay. But you know what? I shouldn't be surprised at this, though. JYP has had some pretty good sets in their music videos so far. Uh, yeah, this one's really, really cool. Huh. What? Okay, this is the only one she didn't smash into. And this became a door. And her outfit changed. Oh no, what's gonna happen? And the music stopped too on top of that. Oh no, I'm scared. No, I don't... What is... Okay, uh... Okay, now they're all colorful? This was like just a... Black and gray? Like girl crush, teen crush type of concept? But what is this now? It like became all like full of colors and it's brighter. It's a bump. It's a beat switch. <laughs> That's what they stopped. You know what? JYP just saw Espa uh, skyrocket with Next Level and he said, you know what? I'm gonna do my own version of that. Although. Uh, I'm not sure about this beat switch, though. Like, with Next Level, that one makes a little bit more sense. Especially with the multiple beat changes in that song. That one makes sense as you start to listen to it a little bit more. I don't know about this, though. Hmm. Huh. Huh, I don't even... To be honest with these outfits, though, I'm not sure if I'm feeling them either. Huh. I don't know about this, guys. This scene over here, really, really cool. In the sky, that looks awesome. However, we're going back into the shout rapping again. Huh. I mean, I feel like if you're gonna rap in the song, like, you know, like, K-pop songs, they always have some kind of rapping in there but like if we're gonna have rapping in here might as well have it be like a bit more like hmm how do i word this like tone down not shouting pretty much like confidence but also not like you know really really hyping it up because you have a, if you have a good rap it's not like you need to really shout for anything so i don't know hmm Interesting. Huh. Oh, you know, I'm exhausted, guys. I need a minute. Hold on. I like, literally don't even know what to say with this, really. Uh, this song is all over the place. I think they... Maybe that's what it is. The song is all over the place. I think that's the perfect way to describe this. Huh. They really said, you know what? Espa, they did it and they got like super, super, like super good money off of that one. Maybe we should try our own, but I don't know. In this case, I feel like it's not... doesn't pay off as well as the Espa one does. Huh. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, whoever this is, her vocals are really, really nice. I like that. Like, see, this part actually fits in the song a little bit. Oh, th this part of the song. Whoa! Okay, 
that was a cool transition right there. Whoa, okay. Wait, that was pretty cool. Okay, that's really cool. Okay, but wait, now? We're going into something else, aren't we? What are we going into? This is the beginning of the song again. Oh, whoa. Okay, yeah, so now this is the same beat in the beginning of the song. Oh. It's getting faster. Wait, okay. Okay, wait. <laughs> This part actually sounds kind of cool, and I really like their outfits in this. And this set two over here? Oh, this is everything. Wait. Oh. Oh. Okay, wait. No, I actually do really like this part of the song. Okay, wait. No, this actually like ma really makes me want to get up right now. Hold on. Okay, and this head bobbing is really cool. Okay, actually, they're doing it all in sync, too, which is actually even more insane. Okay, wait, wait, okay, wait, wait, hold on, wait, hold on, wait, wait, there's too much going on in that. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, this is the fish from the, the colorful scene. What is all this? Is this, like, all the decorations from their, their outfits? And I wonder what she's looking at. Oh, pick and mix. Ooh, I like that though. That's pretty cool. And then it has O O for the song of the the title. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Ooh. Okay, I like this part of the song too, the vocals. Um Okay. Very, very interesting. Oh, what is this? Oh, oh, she's just looking at it. Oh, so are they gonna have a lore? Is this group gonna have a lore too? Okay, that really, like, that part really, really reminded me of a, like, a Luna video because normally with their videos, they have, like, a scene at the end of the video, which, like, goes on into the next one. Or, like, it kind of goes into the lore kind of hinting at stuff that's going on. Huh. That is very interesting. Alright guys, so that was Nmix's OO music video and song. In conclusion, I am very, very confused. So I actually listened to this song off camera again to see like what I thought about it. And like the studio version of this song actually goes straight into the beat switch, unlike the music video where it actually like waits a couple seconds to go into the beat switch, so it was very just like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this beat switch, guys. It's very... Huh, how do I, like, describe it? It's very different from the beat of the song. So the difference between this song and the Espa song is that the Espa song actually really did need a beat switch in that song because that song would have been boring had there not been a beat switch. Like, let's be honest here, guys. If that beat, the beginning beat of the Espa song, was there the entire song, there is no way that song would have done as well as next level would have i mean like that beat was just very like love like one level one line you know what i mean so that song really actually did need several beat switches in there but the beat switches actually made sense which makes it a better song right but this song the beat switches does not make sense i feel like this song did not need a beat switch if anything that girl crush type of concept should have just been there really like the whole video I mean, I don't understand the need for that, but, because, like, it, we, we just went into, like, a girl crush, like, teen crush, like, concept, like, very upbeat, high energy song, and then all of a sudden we, like, switch over to, like, a rock, very, like, girly concept, and I'm like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how I feel, but I, yeah, I just, would I say, okay, and you know what, I'm gonna say this, would I say that this is the worst song? No, probably not, because I feel like I've heard a way worse, and that's gonna be something else for a different video, but I feel like I've heard a lot worse than this. Like, this one would actually was not so bad. I actually do really like the, um, the ending, like, the last minute of that song, right after the beat switched back. 
I feel like at that point the song got really really good. I was like, okay, like this actually doesn't sound really bad at all. Like it's pretty good. And then um like a little bit of the vocals and stuff, and certain parts here and there I really did like too. I me personally though, I just didn't like like the shout rapping. I just I feel like if anything that gets just a little bit irritating. And I feel like they should have taken it back a little bit with the rapping parts. I feel like this song should have actually been more vocal, if I'm going to be completely honest here too as well. I feel like it should have been more vocal. If anything, if they were going to have like a little rap part, they should have had it just where they were just going to... How would I say it? Like not like speak rapping or like talk rapping, but just more like, you know, confident. Like we just very calm, you know what I mean? I feel like that would have made sense with the type of song that this was. I don't know guys, I think ever since Next Level came out by Espa, a lot of songs have been like really trying to do that beat switch type of song, especially the K-pop companies, they've like really really been trying to do that as well, or if better, but I feel like it just hasn't worked as well. I mean, I, I don't know, it just like, I, I feel like the beat switch type of song is a very specific type of song that you have to know how to do well or else it just doesn't pay off as well or at all, if anything. I feel like in the future, we just need to tone it back on the beat switch songs. And if we're going to make a beat switch song, it has to be something good that makes sense within the song so that it's, you know, good. So these girls are still rookies technically right now. And I feel like over time, they will grow and become better. But just right now, like, everyone is just taking a big, like, dump on them. And I don't feel like that's really necessary. I feel like, if anything, it should be more on their company. Because they're the ones who gave them that song. So, if anything, I think really the company should be uh, put on blame for that. Actually, I think a lot of these girls are around, like, their teenage years. So especially now, I feel like a lot of us, like, some people just need to, like, calm down and not attack the girls because they're still learning. They have a long ways to go, and I feel like the next comeback, I'm sure, is probably going to be better, but we just have to let them improve, just like everybody else. Alright guys, that is the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, and also make sure to like and comment below what you guys think. I also have an Instagram, a Twitter, and a TikTok, so you guys should definitely go check those out too because I update them almost like literally every single day. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you maniacs in the next video. Bye!